Hello, we are Alibaba team. Today, we would like to explain about Alibaba company. So there is our topic you can see on the index. And now we start uh, first with a brief history that I am for Taskia as first speaker. Uh, Alibaba was founded by uh, Jack Ma. In 1995, Jack Ma visited Malibu. Malibu, California, to uh, attend some delegation with his friend. Uh, at the time, uh, Jack Ma uh, see, saw uh, a weird machine that called a uh, computer. Uh, computer are uh, rare in China and a bit expensive. So uh, he got I an idea from computer. In 1999, in Hongzhou, China, uh, Jack Ma uh, pulled something from the computers. So he borrowed around a thousand dollar from his fr uh, his friend to uh, build a company or Alibaba, and he gathered around eighteen uh, uh, what employee of his friend. So he collecting around. Uh, sixty thousand dollar from his friend. Now in two thousand and twenty, Alibaba get around uh five hundred and nine point seventeen one billion in annual revenue, and seven hundred and sixty six annual active buyer. And now Alibaba. Uh, become a, uh, the best or a largest uh, e-commerce company. The background of Alibaba name is because uh, Jigma is really love to read uh, one thousand and one history of uh, Arabian story. The one is called Alibaba and the Forty Times. So that's why. Uh, Jack Ma giving them the e-commerce company, it's Alibaba. Uh, now, Sir M. Sapchik of Alibaba. Leadership style of Jack Ma is autocratic. Uh, that means uh, Jack Ma has authority of uh, Alibaba company, but it's not good at all for applied in uh, Alibaba. So, to balance the operation of uh, Alibaba company, uh, Ali, uh, Jack Ma applied autocratic management, uh, conductive management, persuasive management, and democratic management for balance uh, his company. And this is a leadership traits of Jack Ma. Giving up is defined as failure. Jigma said that giving up is the greatest failure. Good things come for those who wait. But even better things come to those who move to get. Jigma believed that the key of success is learning from the mistakes. Foresight. Jigma believed that a leader should be a visionary and have foresight. He has a great vision. When he first learned about the internet, he know that it's going to be the biggest hit. With a visionary skill, he pushed his dream into reality. He created a big company, Alibaba. A value attitude, an optimistic attitude, and low profit are needed to sustain your business in a market environment. Uh, the biggest mistake Jack Ma ever made was when he founded Alibaba. He taught his team that the highest level they could achieve would be that of manager and the executive should be higher from the outside. But Jack Ma has learned his mistake and now uh, stresses the importance of attitude and passion of a theoretical skill. He also believes that his employees should have superior technical skills than him. If they don't, it means he has hired the wrong person. A leader should listen to his employee because a leader can get something from uh, his uh, employee. Philanthropist. Uh, Jack Ma get 
uh, leads of Asia 2019 Heroes of Philanthropies for his work supporting under underprivileged communities in China, Africa, Australia, and the Middle East. Management philosophy of Alibaba is first customer and employee second and investor third. It means uh, they priority the customer because Alibaba gets so many profit from customer and why employee in the second place because uh, from employee Alibaba gets so many idea integrity and uh, hard working of employee and investor are in third place because when Alibaba in the down uh, place investor can taking back their money uh, whenever they want and uh, this are core values of Alibaba in the first place there is a customer first employee second and shareholder third it's meant uh, the first priority of the company is the interest of its user and paying customers and the second place, it trust makes everything simple. It's mean teamwork. Alibaba expects its employees to work as team. They encourage employee, employee input in making decision and expect all employees to commit to team objective. And the third place is change is the only constant. It's mean embrace change. The industry of Alibaba operates in is evolving rapidly Consequently, the company asks its employee to be flexible, innovation, innovative, and to adapt to new conditions and practices. And in the fourth place, is today bad performance is tomorrow is Baselin. It's mean integrity, trust is an essential element of a marketplace, and Alibaba's employee maintain the high standards of integrity and deliver on their commitments. And the fifth place is if not now, when, if not me, who? It's mean patient. Whether serving customer or developing new service or products, Alibaba employees are encouraged to act with patient. And the last part is live seriously and work happily. It's mean commitment. Alibaba has a dedicated to focus and commitment to understanding and delivering on the needs of Chinese and global small medium or and medium enterprise. Okay, my name is Iputu Jeffrey Sukmadiguna. I am the second speaker of this presentation. My part is the environment of Alibaba business. I will use four tools for uh, analysis the environment of Alibaba. Okay, the first we open with who is the competitor of Alibaba? In global competitor, we know that two popular names is Amazon and eBay. This e-commerce is very popular and has a big revenue in every year that competition with Alibaba in worldwide. And in the local competitor is JD.com and Pinduoduo. Maybe you know about JD.com a little bit, but Pinduoduo about Pinduoduo uh, is a new developed e-commerce that provides uh, the cheaper service and product. Okay, after we continue to the first tool of analysis that uh, name is SWOT and SO strategies. The most important point in this PPT is the SO strategies because after we know the strength, weakness, opportunities, and the threat of uh, Alibaba business, we can we can provide the SO strategies, what the company must do. The first, I suggest that Alibaba can launch and develop cloud service because they have a strong free cash flow and also the, also the government support for this project and they have a opportunities to be a leader of cloud computing service in worldwide. Also, uh, the government wants to push uh, Alibaba to build a big project of EA that have a potential to in market worldwide. 
and I also suggest that Alibaba can invest in new business sector like oil, car, and the others. Okay, we continue to the second tools that called Pestle. Pestle is analysis tool to identify the macro force that facing by Alibaba. There are six factors. The first is political, next economical, the third is social, technological, environmental, and the last is legal. But I very interesting with political and economical. The, we know there are issues about trade war between US and China. And the weakness of Alibaba is they very depend on Chinese political and economical. That's why I think uh, they have a heavy or hard um, competition in worldwide because this trade war. Okay, we continue to BCG analysis. This analysis uh, function is to know what's the product or the strategy the most competitive for Alibaba in the long term. At the start, we see that digital media and entertainment. Why? Because digital media and entertainment have a high market share and high market growth for Alibaba. Because in 2018, digital media and entertainment give Alibaba about 6% revenue come from this business unit and in every year the growth is about 30 percent so i think this is digital media and entertainment can we just be as the star product of alibaba and the cash cost is the core uh, business of alibaba is taobao and timo because they have a big market size but uh, the market grow is steadily not like digital media that increasing increasing uh, rapidly and in the question mark is Alibaba Cloud Computing because this business unit have a mar uh, high market growth but still have a low market share. But in in the dogs business is Alibaba's innovation initiative in other business because Alibaba has a lot of invitation that have a low growth and low market share. But I cannot find what this what investation that have a low market share, low market growth. Okay, the last tools is the Forster 5 Force. In these tools, uh, we, not, we want to know what's the bargain power of buyer, the threat of substitute product, bargain power of supplier, and the threat of new entrants. Okay, we start from bargain power of buyers. The bargain power, power of buyers in Alibaba business is very minimal because we know the strength of Alibaba is have a high trust because some can some consumer know that Alibaba have a good service and bargain power of supplier also very low because Alibaba have a lot of supplier in their local business and the trade of substitute substitute product is also uh, quite high because the growth of two e-commerce sites in China uh, is very rapidly uh, that I mentioned before, JD.com and Pindu, Pindu is also penetration the market in Chinese. And the last is threat of new entrant. The threat of new entrant is also low, but there is possibility that will change over time because we can see that example is Pindu come in two years before that now have uh, also good revenue and can penetrate in the market. Okay, that's all my analysis for Alibaba business. Now we continue with that presentation that will explain you about the resource and mechanism of Alibaba business. Thank you everyone for listening to me. I will now continue with the resources and the mechanism of the SERM of Alibaba and my name is Dita. The core competence of Alibaba company can be separated into three main parts. It is the business, the profit and the credibility. So the business model of Alibaba is very unique because it offers a full ecosystem with both B2B, B2C and C2C commerce, including their own payment system as well called Alipay. Alibaba do not have the warehouses or manufacturers, but instead they provide the, provide the e-systems and platforms for businesses and retailers. So small businesses that might not be able to succeed on their own can use Alibaba systems and then Alibaba can accumulate it 
gain success from the collective success of the small companies and then become a giant business, um, which is very unique. The profit model is that the admission into the Alibaba system is free at first for businesses to sign up, and that means they can attract a lot of clients. Um, and then when payments are made through Alipay, Alibaba will take a short, a small commission from the transaction. Later then, the businesses have the opportunity to buy in on some other supports that Alibaba offers, such as marketing support, advertising, or technical support, software updates, and data on consumer behavior. The credibility is also a big core competence of Alibaba. Manufacturers, sellers, and retailers, and everyone goes through credibility check, which also includes identification verification. And as you can see here on the photo, it's possible to become a gold supplier. It shows how long the user has been on the platform and other people's ratings. If we put it into the VRIN model, we can see that there are some valuable things, valuable resources for Alibaba that maybe is also available to other companies, but is still valuable. It is the diverse product range as at a cheap pricing, for instance. The rare ones would be that they offer all three C2C, B2C, and B2B services, and that their payments are really secure with the Alipay system. Um, and the amount of data that they have for their consumers. The inimitable ones are, for instance, the customer loyalty, because it's been built over a really long time, and it will be difficult and time consuming for another company or competitor to replicate it, and their strong brand name. The non-substitutable ones could be their complete ecosystem solution, including Alipay and Jack Ma as a leader himself because he has a very clear vision and ability to inspire. The business structure, as you can see, includes more than just e-commerce. They have also begun some monetization platforms, logistic and online cloud computing and financial service. But the main business of Alibaba is still the e-commerce with both wholesale, global sale, mobile commerce and third party commerce and domestic wholesale. For the purpose of explaining how it works, I will focus on the e-commerce, basically the B2B, C2C, and B2C. Here is the business model canvas. We can see that some key partners can be the investors, such as SoftBank, that is their biggest investor, and that their customer segment includes both sellers, suppliers, producers, warehouses, and shoppers. But actually, since it is suppliers and producers and warehouses, they can also be seen as key partners. The value proposition that is the main proposition of Alibaba is the growth of business and the offering of resources. If we take me, for instance, I could be a, con a customer and I want to buy a mask online. Those are very popular right now. So I go to Taobao, the C2C platform, and I buy masks from a seller. Now this seller has previously been on the B2C platform and bought a supply from the supplier or warehouse, but they didn't necessarily produce the mask themselves. So they have been to Alibaba B2B platform and bought it from a manufacturer. From all of these transactions through Alipay, Alibaba takes a small commission. So that is how both the, how the customers and the key partners and Alibaba make money through this whole process. This creates for a virtuous circle for Alibaba because a small business can sign up and then they will experience that the business has the possibility to grow. That means more payments are made and Alibaba can take more commission. Eventually the businesses can see that their loyalty to Alibaba raise and they want to invest in Alibaba additional services, which means their business can expand more and then the business grows again and again the loyalty raises. So in conclusion, Jack Ma is a leader who managed to grow a big company from few resources. These days, Alibaba is competition to even big global companies such as Amazon and eBay. It is one of the most successful e-commerce businesses in the world, making 509.71 billions in annual revenue. They have high customer loyalty and offer both B2B, B2C and C2C e-commerce with also their own payment system. For future development, Alibaba can use an SO strategy to overcome potential threats and grow even more. In the future, they can focus on digitalization and AI, which also the environment, such as the Chinese government, is highly interested in. And eventually, they might also become the leader in global, the global leader of cloud computing and not only e-commerce. Thank you for listening to our presentation. And here on the last slide, you can see our references.